welcome back to fun time today i'll be showing you a math trick and it is the 11 multiplication trick so let's take an example first for example maybe like um 43 multiplied by 11 now what will you do think i'll tell you the answer first you want to take these numbers, leave a little gap, and you have to do like this. You have to do it. This, if you have to draw a mountain like this, and the mountain up. So like this, four is up this mountain, and three is up this mountain. So now we want to take this four, write it over here. Same thing, three. Now we want to add these both numbers. Seven. So now forty three. So the answer forty three multiplied by eleven is four seven three or four hundred and seventy three. Let's take another example. Maybe um like. A little bigger number like 5, 50, 53 for example, multiplied by 11. So, the same thing, the same concept. The 5 is on this mountain and 3 is on this mountain. Take your 5, write it here. Take your 3, and let it over here. Now add these both numbers. 8. Your answer is 583 or 583. Plus, now we're going to go with a little bigger number. 3 digits. We're gonna, so maybe 1, 2, Two, for example, how will you write this? Last time we had two digits, so we drew two mountains. But this time, without drawing two mountains, you want to draw three mountains because there's three digits. So one, two, and two here. Take the one, write it over here. Take the two, write it over here. And Always come from the ones digit like this. So 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 plus 1 is 3. So your, what will your answer be? It is 1342 one or 1342. This is very simple, right? Now, what about Another example. I'll give it a little bit. Like 5, 2, and then 6. Multiplied by 11. Now, this draw 3 more mountains. Um, right here, 5, 2, and 6. You want to take your 5 here and write it over here. 6. Now add 6 plus 2, which is 8, and 2 plus 5, which is 7. So, the answer is... 5,786 or 5,786. This. Now, but here's a condition here. What if your number is like this? Like 6 and then 65 multiplied by 11. What will you do? Here's the trick. So you have to draw the two mountains because two digits. 
six, and five. We want to do the same thing. So six here, five here. Now you want to add these two numbers. It comes nothing. This is a little odd than our like our last example. So what you want to do is very simple. You want to take this eleven, move it over here. And you want to add this one with six, which comes seven. Now you think what your answer will be. Simple. It's just. Seven hundred and seven hundred and fifteen. It's, it's that easy as that. Now we'll do like a three digit number and let's see how to be. I want this. One hundred and forty seven multiplied by eleven. So this is a three digit number which means you have to draw three hills. One, two, and three. Okay, place your one here, place your four here, and seven here. You have to keep your one here. Seven here. Now you want to add seven. And then four and seven. What does it mean? Simple, it means 11. Now 1 plus 4 is 5. So this is a little different because every time we did the last example was like here was 11 and some digit was here. This time you want to take this, the same thing only. Take this one, add it with 5, which is 6. Now... What will your answer be? Correct. It is 1617 or 1617. Now we'll go with the four digit num multiplication which is the math. So we'll go with the number like hmm, the same thing, okay, three, uh, maybe eight, so three, eight, one, two, okay, so this is a four digit, so now this is a four digit, so drop four here, one, two, three, and four.